Hello and welcome to the episode 271 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, we have the final Riverboat Shuffle, more work on the Magical Mystery Tour project, and the remake of the second solo single of John Lennon. On the 28th of September 1960, the Beatles played their 43rd night at the Indra Club in Hamburg, West Germany. In 1961, the Beatles, with Paul McCartney now on bass, performed at the Litterland Town Hall in Liverpool. Two engagements in 1962 for the definitive lineup of the Beatles, with Ringo Starr on drums. After the usual lunchtime concert at the Cavern Club in Liverpool, the Fabs topped the bill of the third and last Ray McFall's Riverboat Shuffle event of this season sharing the bill with Lee Castle and the Barons. The boat trip on the Mercy started and ended at the Pier Head in Liverpool. In fact, this was the fourth event of the kind. For more information on the others, check episode 237, 187 and 222 of this very podcast. Talking about this podcast, there's a lot you can do to support it and my other ventures in music-related content. Go to www.simonmas.com support to find out the details and to read all you need to know to get the deluxe version of What A Fab Day, with hours of extra content waiting for your ears. Thank you! Fast forward five years to the 28th of September 1967. From 4 to 5.30 pm in Abbey Road, while the Beatles, or at least Paul McCartney, were busy at the Normans Film Productions cutting Magical Mystery Tour the film, copies of Magical Mystery Tour the song and Flying were made for the film production, to be used for reference purposes. Later mixes were used in the final edit of the film. Later in the evening, from 7 pm to 3 am, the Beatles and their production staff worked at the EMI Studios, completing four mono mixes of I Am The Warriors and recording overdubs on Flying, with Ringo Starr playing maracas, George Harrison acoustic guitar and John Lennon mellotron. In addition, John and Ringo prepared tapes with various loops of sound effects and instrumental noise, and added them to the track. Before the end of the session, this song was edited and mixed into mono, too. Finally, in 1969, John Lennon led the Plastic Ono Band during the recording of a remake of Cold Turkey at the Trident Studios. The personnel was the same of the first recording, detailed in episode 268 of What A Fab Day. The session saw the completion of the song, with all the relevant overdubs. The start and finish time of this session and how many takes the band needed to complete the work are not documented. This concludes the episode, but fear not, I will be back tomorrow for more stories about the four you love. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.